because it started out it was supposed to be voluntary standards. This was a bait and switch. Now, look, the race at the top was never supposed to be about Common Core, that, and that, that's why we're suing the federal government. This is a violation of the Tenth Amendment of the Constitution. V existing federal law says the federal government shouldn't make curriculum decisions. My argument is Arne Duncan's actually broken federal law in the race to the top funding, in the No Child Left Behind waivers, using federal dollars to force states into Common Core. And by the way, I'm still for high standards. I don't want a one-size-fits-all approach coming out of D.C. But, but this, this is a bipartisan program that was started by the governors, not by, the, by Washington. And it's not a curriculum. It's a set of standards of skills and knowledge that you have to have at the end of each school year. And, and critics say that your real objection is that you are considering running for president. Conservatives have turned against Common Core. So you're now with that. Chris, you, even the CEO of PARC has admitted what gets tested drives curriculum, drives what gets taught in the classroom. I've seen it as a parent. My child's brought home the math homework under Common Core. Two and two used to be four. Now under Common Core, they made it so complicated. There are a lot of people that have changed their, their views on Common Core, and they see what it has become. I am for high standards. I am for accountability. If this were truly being driven by the states, and we wrote into our, our MOU with PARC, that they had to follow the state bid law. They didn't do that. And that's why we've gone to court. This is becoming a top-down approach, just like Obamacare. We were told you could keep your doctor, you keep your health plan. We were told this would be locally driven, local curriculum. That's not what it is. This is a one-size-fits-all approach from D.C. We have never allowed the federal government to make curriculum decisions in our local schools. Governor? We will continue to fight against this. Thank